Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is Peppa's birthday. Hey Peppy. Today this little boy is five years old. So I'm also just gonna take the time to talk about Peppa, you know. It's like a meet Peppa video. And then I'm also gonna talk about Star because Star is his best friend. So they kind of come together as a package deal. So Peppa is an ebony chinchilla which we bought from a breeder and we bought Star from the same breeder, we bought them at the same time. And Star's birthday was actually just a little while ago at the end of April. But yeah, we're celebrating Peppa's now. Peppa's now jumped onto the floor. So he's going to run around and have some free time. That's the thing about chinchillas. Never expect them to just sit on your lap and you can just stroke them and pet them and whatever. They don't do that. Like, I'm surprised they hold him for that long. But anyway, you got to see him. There's Pepper. Hi, Pepper. You know. So as I was saying, Pepper is an ebony chinchilla which we bought from a breeder back in 2014. He's a little bit of a chunk, he is, but that's because Star is the boss and so I think she hogs the wheel a lot and then he doesn't get to run as much. So that's why he's a little chubby, he's a little chubby but that's because of Star. Pepper has a good temperament regarding like how he behaves with other chinchillas, kind of. Like if he's with other females then he can be unruly and he'll chase them around and whatnot. But there was a time when I introduced him to Kylo and then he was really sweet to Kylo. Like he went and put his face in Kylo's face and then Kylo's like sitting there scared with his mouth open and Pepper didn't do anything. He was like, hey, I'm here. We can be friends if you want. And it was fine. They, they're fine together, Kylo and Pepper. And they didn't hurt each other. It wasn't a bad introduction session or anything. So one medical thing Pepper's had in the past was his eye got kind of gooey and crusty and then the one eye like shut closed but it wasn't that big of a deal we just took him to the vet they gave us an ointment that I had to rub on his eye and that was it within like a day or two it was all good so Star and Pepper were the first chinchillas we ever bought and we did buy them with the intention of breeding them however that just never happened Star and Pepper don't breed we don't know why Star is a female Pepper is a male but it's just never happened. Not sure why though. So so here's Star everyone. She's an extreme ebony mosaic. Uh, extreme ebony because of this dot that's super black on her head. And the mosaic because she's got that white mixture coloration in her. She was very white when we bought her like as a baby. But over the years she's gotten more grey. But it doesn't matter. She's still gorgeous. So we were originally going to name her Salt, like Salt and Pepper, but apparently Salt wasn't a cool girly name enough according to my mom, so Star it is. So Star is actually the biggest bully out of all my pets, out of all my chinchillas. She is ruthless and she's a bully and she's just really horrible, you know, personality wise for chinchillas, I guess. Like she's a sweetie and she's cute but when it comes to other chinchillas she's the boss and she will bully them and she will attack any other chinchilla. She even bullies Pepper but not to an extent that like they can't be housed together. It's just she's that much of a bully. But she's gorgeous though, look at her. So like I said her birthday was end of April and she's also five. We've never had any medical issues with star um, i mean i guess the no breeding thing could be something but i mean they're healthy otherwise and it really doesn't matter to us enough to go and figure out why they're not breeding it's been five years so they're not going to breed anymore so it doesn't matter and also they're they are our pets and we love them as pets so it means nothing to us that they can't breed anyways so Star has gone to run off with Pepper. They're having playtime now. 
Star is also the most curious out of all our chinchillas. If like I'm doing something in their cage, putting a new toy in, cleaning it out, she's always like there, you know, all up in the drama and all up in the business, seeing what's going on. If I put a new toy in, she has to be the first one to inspect it and sniff it and I don't know, decide if it's worthy to be in her cage. It's always so adorable how Star will kind of sit and watch us. So her cage is like in our lounge there. So if we're sitting watching TV, you know, sitting on the couches, she'll just kind of sit there and stare at us and it's adorable. And that's why we love having their cage there. So Star and Pepper are so inquisitive like that. They'll sit and they'll watch us and that's why they're the most interactive in that kind of way. And we just love watching them and they're like them too are just great pets that we love to watch as well. But yeah, the biggest thing about Zara is that she is a bully and she will attack any chinchilla other than Peppa and even sometimes Peppa. And it's made it really hard because I kind of want to put bubbles with Star and Peppa because Star and Peppa have a really big cage that bubbles could go in with and then, you know, the three of them could live happily. But, you know, because of Star, I just can't do anything. So that's about it for me talking about Star and Pepper. I'm just going to show you pretty pictures of them and cute videos of them and just let you enjoy them. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to comment down below and say happy birthday to them and happy birthday to Pepper because they are, they deserve it, you know. They deserve all the birthday wishes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.